Hello, my name is Mordrum and today I'm going to take a look at my battle mage build guide that uses a spear and a staff to unleash Armageddon upon your foes. High mobility, high versatility, an amazing array of spells and tools as well as a devastating parry are the strong points of this bad boy. Kiting, bursting, DPS are all available to you and help incinerate, electrocute, freeze or glitter bomb your foes. I will be going over attributes, trinkets, upgrading tips, skills, perks, the talent tree and gameplay. This build allows you to continuously dish out high amounts of damage at any range, while giving you the option to counter nearly all moves enemies throw at you. Bursting down targets is easily possible with the staff, be it through snipes, a devastating breath attack or spells. You will also be nearly invincible through the exceptionally strong parry. And to top it all off, a stance that makes you immune to damage as long as it's active is also in your repertoire. Let's start with attributes, but before we move on, make sure to like, sub and comment to support my channel. Attributes are easy in this game. PCS improves your attack by 5 per each point spent. Con gives you 45 health and ACN increases your skill damage multiplier by 1 as well as your mana recovery efficiency by 6 per point. The ratio we are going for is 4 to 1 split in attributes until we reach 60 PCS, 30 Con and 15 ACN. All other points go into ACN to help keep our abilities up on bosses. Why not more attack or HP? Because we are getting less and less value the more we invest into them. 5 additional attack provides us with 0.68% increase to damage with a plus 10 weapon. And more HP is just not necessary with our defensive options. I highly recommend going with high physical defenses and additional elemental resistances depending on the zone and boss. We can also find strong elemental trinkets scattered around the city. Other notable trinkets are the spell break jam for some resistances and a boost to attack damage as well as the underworld whispers trinket for passive mana region. The penalty to defenses might seem low but you are also giving up all defenses of a regular trinket which makes this one something to enjoy with caution. Next a bit about upgrading gear. Get your staff to plus 10 first. The spear should be your second priority with elemental enchantite being next. I found fire to be the most useful and fun to play around with but lightning and ice also serve its purpose. Trinket should be your least priority. They will cost the same resources and will later cost additional star red chunks, which are exceptionally rare, possibly locking you out of equipment upgrades. Now upgrading Quintus shop to the third stage will unlock infinite chunks for 15k each, so it's only temporary. Now onto abilities. Our four spells of choice are Gale Force, Crescent Blade, Focused Flare and Astral Storm. Gale Force provides us with a strong 20-25% increase to our damage as long as we are standing inside the force field. Crescent Blade is our stance ability of choice. Activating changes your spear base moveset to wide range sweeping strikes that deal incredibly high damage. You are also immune to damage in exchange for having no parry while in this state. All damage we deal and receive drains our mana pool until we hit zero and this will drop our stance. Judgment is an alternative to this but I didn't find it nearly as good as Crescent Blade. Next up Focused Flare and Astral Storm. The first one summons an orb of fire that constantly damages the nearest enemy. Astral Storm summons some glitter that follows foes while dealing insane amounts of arcane damage. Both can be combined for some amazing DPS. Another strong option is the Lightning Turret ability. This ability channels a beam of lightning resulting in a devastating explosion at the end. The drawback of this ability is a long cast time and high mana cost. You also do not have super armor while casting this one. It's great for farming some enemies but pales in comparison to the other spells, especially when fighting bosses or highly aggressive foes. The perks you really want to pick up are the Treasure Hunter for a much needed increase in material drops, Magic Breath to change our regular staff charge attack to one of the strongest abilities in the game and rapid fire to increase the rate of fire of our staff snipe. Sweep counter and surprise lunge are both okay choices for a spear but I nearly never utilize them. Pick them up with extra skill points. Next up the talent tree. You are offered some extremely useful passives in here enhancing your gameplay substantially. You should max out your inner regular passives first before picking up some parry nodes in the spear tree followed up by the staff tree. The most important note that will make your parry good is in Side. It will extend your parry window by a massive amount. The next most important one is counter momentum, giving you super armor during your counter attack. This will prevent you from getting interrupted by attacks during your counter animation. The staff tree has some incredible notes like 4th 
Quadrant, giving you a fourth, very strong regular magic attack. Or Magic Breath, giving you an exceptionally strong high DPS cone attack. Here is the complete talent tree with a skill path for your enjoyment. Now let's take a look at additional gameplay. Kiting bosses is very easy with this build. Focus Flare and Astral Storm provide you with dots that help with this. But your Fire Staff attack comes out fast and hits very hard, making this one possible. Gale Force further enhances your damage as long as you are in the force field, providing you with a high burst damage window. The Crescent Blade stance can be combined with Gale Force to obliterate bosses very easily as long as you utilize your dodges efficiently. Also do not be shy with a Stardust Pins to recover mana during fights. You are basically flooded with them and you will end up with a chest full of them. You can also buy them. Now your spear is also very good versus certain bosses. Humanoid foes are very easy to parry making you dominate them. Your dodge roll attack is also extremely fast and hits decently hard in AoE. Regular enemies can also be easily sniped from afar with a special staff charge attack. Hits easily one-shot most foes in the game. But this attack is also amazing for exploration, giving you access to a long-range multi-element hit scan tool, overtaking the role of daggers and charge bombs. Your staff breath attack can be used as an opener to fights with his tankier foes that are sleeping or unaware of your presence. The damage of this one is absolutely insane for a non-ability move. Anyway, I hope you found this video enjoyable. Make sure to like, sub and comment if you did to support my channel. See you next time and bye!